Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making mashed potatoes. Now this recipe is perfect for Thanksgiving and it's full of flavor. So, let's get started. All right, for the ingredients, you're gonna need one and a half pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, which you're gonna peel and cut into quarters. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt, plus some additional to taste. You're gonna need one garlic clove that you're gonna mince. Four tablespoons of warm, heavy cream. Two tablespoons of melted butter. One tablespoon of carnation milk. One green onion stalk, thinly sliced. And then some black pepper to taste. All right, so to get things started, you're gonna take your Yukon Gold potatoes and you're gonna peel all of them, making sure to get rid of all the skin. And then you're gonna to want to slice them into quarter pieces. This makes it easier for them to boil. Make sure you stay until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming out next Friday. Next up, you want to finely chop the green onion stalks as well as mince the clove of garlic. Now you want to place the peeled and cut potatoes into a medium saucepan. Now you want to add a half a teaspoon of salt to the water. This will help bring out some of the flavor of the potato once it's finished boiling. And you want to make sure there's enough cold water in the pan so that the potatoes can be covered by at least one inch of water. Turn the stovetop's heat to high or 450 degrees Fahrenheit and bring the water to a boil. Once the water is boiling, reduce the heat to low or 225 degrees Fahrenheit to maintain a simmer and then cover the pot. You want to let the potatoes cook for 15 to 20 minutes or until you can easily poke through the potatoes with a fork. While the potatoes are boiling, you can go ahead and melt the butter and warm the cream in the microwave. And you want to set those aside for later. When the potatoes are done, you want to drain the water and place the hot potatoes into a large size bowl. Then you're going to pour the cream and melted butter over the potatoes. Now you want to mash the potatoes with a potato masher or you can use a strong wooden or metal spoon to beat it further. For the next step, you're going to add the carnation milk and the minced garlic. And you want to continue beating the mashed potatoes until they're smooth. Be careful not to overbeat the potatoes or they'll become more like a puree, which is not what you want. You want to garnish them with some thinly sliced green onions and then stir that into the mix. Now you want to add salt and pepper to your own taste. I would add the seasonings a quarter teaspoon or less at a time as you continue to taste test, especially with the salt. Too much salt will kill the end result.
Once the potatoes taste to your liking, these are best served hot. And just like that, you made your very own mashed potatoes. These are perfect for Thanksgiving or any friend and family get together. These go great with gravy, but this recipe is so tasty, you won't even need it. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine, Volume 1, Finding Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll make sure to leave the link to that in the description box. Look out for next week's recipe where I show how to make my super banana nut bread. You won't want to miss that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. I'll be coming out with a new cooking video every Friday. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.